Game three, NLDS, Cubs and Nationals from Wrigley. The series nodded at one game apiece. Jose Quintana on the hill for Chicago, making his first career postseason start. Max Scherzer recovered from that tweaked hamstring on the hill for the Nats. Pick up the action in the fourth, no score. Quintana getting some help from his defense, facing Matt Weeders. Here comes the one-two. In the air to right center field, tailing away from John Jay, who is back and makes that play. The speed of John Jay keeps this game scoreless. Getting his first start of this series. Nothing, nothing, fifth inning. Here it comes, and Taylor checked his swing. Nope, he went around. Career 182, and he takes right three call. Now Quintana on another 2-2. Quintana just struck out the side. Scherzer serves, called, strike three. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. That's six strikeouts for Scherzer, who still has not allowed a hit through five. Murphy has bounced out and struck out. Going the other way to left, Schwarber over near the line, and it's off his glove. And he kicks it around, and now Murphy is on his way to third. Schwarber is that he tried to coast on this ball, and off the bat of Murphy, it kept peeling towards the line, and he never got over there if it went off his glove. And then tries to fill it with his glove. Pedro Stroke comes on. Quintana deserved better. Fly ball deep right center. That's trouble. All the way back toward the wall is Hayward. Can't make the play. It's up against the wall. A run will score. And Zimmerman has a double. Well, Zimmerman does here what he's been doing all season long, driving in the big runs. And he makes the Cubs and Schwarber pay for that mistake. Finally, a ball in the gap that the Cubs can't catch up to. And it's a one nothing game. Scherzer continues to mow down Cubs hitters. That ball's well hit toward the gap in left center field and it's going to get down for the first hit for the Cubs. The throw to second just late. And Zobrist, the tying run. Boy, Zobris always seems to get big hits in the postseason. Doesn't matter what uniform he's wearing. And that first one, a double that one hops. That wall in left field, digging for two. Yeah, had to put his head down and go. Three balls and two strikes, big spot. Line drive, base hit left center field. Zobris to round third, they're going to wave him and we are tied. Well, Solis. Didn't make the pitch on the 2-2, got the 3-2, and came in with a fastball. That's Dusty's reaction. In the gap to right center field, Taylor over, makes the play. They're going to turn this into a double play. Throw back to first, and they got him. Team's RBI leader at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo swings at the first pitch. Blooper, shallow center. Oh. It's going to fall! And the Cubs have the lead. Rizzo's hung up between first and second, but nobody in the ballpark cares. It's a two to one game. Cubs lead two to one. Time for the ninth inning. Everyone is standing. The stretch by Wade Davis. Here it is. Fly ball. Playable, I believe it is. Anthony Rizzo is there. He's calling. Cubs win! Wade Davis, his second save of the series as the Cubs rally for a 2-1 win and take a 2-1 lead for the best of five. Jose Quintana goes five and two-thirds innings, allowing just an unearned run. The Cubs win despite committing four errors in the game, two on that one play by Kyle Schwarber that led to the lone Nationals run. It was the fourth time in 13 career playoff starts that Scherzer has a no-hit bid of at least five innings. That's two more than any other pitcher in history. The Cubs look to close out the series in game four at Wrigley on Tuesday. Jake Arrieta against Tanner Roark. I think it don't piss me right there, to be honest. Uh, I love this situation at a base open. Uh, you know, Albert Perez, we have history just facing each other. He threw me a slider and a fastball. I knew he was coming fastball there. Obviously, uh, it flipped in there, but that's what this game's all about, not hitting at him. Those situations, I love being up in. It's my job as a driving runs and came through there. It's true. I mean, we, we got it done because our pitching was so good, quite frankly. I mean, their guy, give Scherzer a lot of credit, man, to come off that injury like he did. 
um, and pitch as well as he did, that's pretty phenomenal. That was phenomenal. And then our guy matched him, which we needed tonight. You'd ha you had to match uh, that great pitching performance with another one, and we did. And then um, we got a couple knocks late uh, to get the game in our favor. But that was really, really an exceptionally <laughs> well done uh, performance by both pitchers. We made mistakes. We made mistakes. We made some errors. But then we made some great plays. We made a couple base running gaffes. Uh, part of it is just guys possibly trying a little bit too hard. But at the end of the day, you'll always take that, that effort, always. You know, it's just, it was just a matter of matchups. I don't, I don't know that there was a different feeling, uh, just presented differently to us. I mean, um, Schwerber right there obviously was set it up before the game that if that, that, if that were to happen, that was going to be a spot against the lefty, and it just happened. I didn't necessarily feel anything differently. I mean, um, I'm certain that, you know, based on his injury and everything, he was not going to go much further than that anyhow. Um, but, no, I, I didn't feel anything necessarily different. Well, it was very difficult, but you know we thought Max had had enough, especially coming off the injury, and um, um, you know Swerver's a dangerous man. I probably couldn't live with myself as if Swerver, you know, had hit one out of the park on you, which is dangerous to do that. So we thought, um, you know, we made the right decision. Um, you know, he got a change up up to Almora, and uh, you know that was. Uh, you know, they continue to get the clutch hits, and uh, you know we haven't gotten them yet, but we will. And he hadn't been that far, you know, in a while. And uh, like I said, Swarber's a dangerous hitter. Um, you know, you know if we made the pitch, then you know we wouldn't be talking about it. But this, you know, just sometimes you can't throw the ball where you want to throw it. Well, the other option might have been it might have been to walk him. And then and then pitch a con, uh, uh, Contreras, but Contreras is, you know, like early in the in this in the uh, series, like I said, Perez is is really dangerous with the runners and scorers. It's in the two outs. Yeah, one nothing ball game going to seventh. Um, you know, the game's on the line. Every pitch, um, you know, you're trying to. I'm just trying to stay in, the, stay you know, within myself, stay within uh, game plan with weeders. Uh, and just execute pitches. Um, you know, I was able to get ahead on Contreras, and you know, just you know, took my chances with fastballs up in that situation, um, and was able to execute and be able to collect a strikeout in that situation. Um, and then with Zobris, so I just missed with a curveball, uh, oh oh, and then uh, you know, went fastball away, and he did a good job of putting a bat on the ball and uh, hitting the gap.